new at six, the state attorney's office announces a crackdown on identity theft. Dozens of people are arrested for what officials are calling a national crisis that's hit South Florida hard. CBS4's Gabby Fleischman has more on the three month long investigation that left an officer injured. The North Miami Beach Police Department on February the 6th of this year shed blood in the processing of these, these, this crime. An officer wounded serving an identity theft related search warrant at a North Miami Beach home. Officer Lino Diaz took two bullets in the line of duty while helping to fight a fraud epidemic. Identity theft and public benefits fraud specifically have reached crisis levels. The U.S. State Attorney's Office announcing today they charged 42 alleged fraudsters during a three month long identity theft crackdown. The crimes reportedly involved tens of thousands of stolen identities and millions of dollars lost. South Florida is a hotbed for stolen identity related crimes. South Florida has the highest number of identity theft cases in the country, hemorrhaging taxpayer dollars out to criminals. Over the past three years, the Identity Theft Strike Task Force caught thieves using stolen information to try and illegally get their hands on more than $300 million. Officials say individuals and organized gangs are hoarding personal information and either using it themselves or selling it. And they say the offenders are getting more creative, coming up with new schemes to cash out using your stolen information. Thieves are using our stolen identities not only to steal from the IRS, but also to steal our tax dollars from other, other government programs such as Social Security, unemployment insurance, and even from other states income tax revenue programs. The arrests announced today are a show of force from federal and local law enforcement who say prevention and prosecution of these types of crimes is a top priority. The state attorney says most of the time identity theft is actually an insider job. Somebody working at a government agency, a doctor's office, a hospital, stealing your information, then using it or selling it. Officials say the best way to protect yourself is by not giving out your personal information, especially your social security number. From Miami, Gabby Fleischman, CBS4 News.